Welcome to the Workload Automation Video Series. This video will demonstrate how to upload a list of values rather than typing in all the values in an internal rule of a site standard and control M Workload Change Manager module. As part of our transition from desktop client to a consolidated web interface, Control M version 9.0.19 introduces the tools domain where you can now find the site standards feature. Site standards was also conditional rules and must have rules for complicated scenarios to enforce standardization and efficiency among different organization parties. This may require the need to create internal rules which contain hundreds of possible values to be considered by a site standard. Let's see how we can create internal rules for a site standard and how we could upload a list of possible values from a file instead of typing all of them. First we need to log into the control and web interface and then under tools option we select site standards. Here we open the corresponding site standard and go to internal rules section. In this case we are going to open job interval rule and we can see it only contains one value with its corresponding description. For this example we're going to upload all the possible values for this internal rule from a file so in this way we avoid to type all of them in this section. The file to use could be either a text file or a CSV file with the possible values. Let's see really quick the format of the file so the information can be uploaded properly into the internal rule. This is the text file and you can see the value and description are separated by a simple comma. Now if we check the CSV file we'll see the value and description in their corresponding cell. Going back to the site stand, we select the upload icon and in the window we search the file to be used, in this case is a text file, so we select it, and now we get a warning saying that the current possible values will be deleted, so it's important to mention here that this option will overwrite the existing information in the rule since it's not possible to add more values to the existing ones. So select import to continue with this action, and we can see the 8 possible values have been imported into the rule. Now we can use the C now we can use the CSV file which contains 9 values, so we do the same, select the CSV file, and now we can see we have 9 values for the rule imported from the CSV file. Finally, we press OK button and save the site standard. This action is very useful when there are lots of possible values to be included in the internal rule so it's much easier and faster importing that information from a file rather than typing it. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you if any assistance is needed.